to do some other form of tax. So if I go to page one now, I could say, okay, now I've got the 40,000. If I want to mirror that in my, uh, my tax formula worksheet, I'm gonna say we have W2 wages of 40,000. If I pull that back on over, okay. And then we've got still the standard deduction. So I'm gonna go back on over here of the 12,950 so I can verify the bottom line should be 2750. Uh, so there's the 2750. Let's go back here. And then page two is going to be the uh, 3044. I'm going to rely on the software to calculate that 3044. And then the withholdings, according to my W 2 now, the withholdings for federal income tax was 4000. So I'm going to populate that in my, my worksheet here at the payments of 4,000. And that will pull back on over to the first page of the 1040 at 4,000, leaving us with a refund of 956. So we can kind of check that over here. There's the 4,956. So you can see how you can kind of check everything out. And notice what you might be saying is, hey, look, I didn't see anything about the, the this stuff. Why do I even need the social security, the Medicare, and the Medicare tax. Oftentimes that might not be populated on your federal income tax reported on the form 1040 because it's already been dealt with, you know, and, and so it will only be on your, you know, it'll be populating on your form 1040 if there was an issue with it. For example, if you over withheld oftentimes on the social security because you had multiple W-2s uh, or if you have some other form that you're paying social security and medicare such as if you're a sole proprietorship and you have self-employment tax which is kind of the equivalent for a sole proprietor which we will get into uh later so if there's an issue that that could pop up and maybe we'll do an example with that but before we get there let's say we had a little bit more complex one and now we're going to say that the income is higher they made 150,000. now if that's the case the social security caps i believe in 2022 at 147,000 and then the Medicare wages is going to be doesn't have a cap so it'll be at 150 if there was nothing else there's no difference between Medicare and social and the uh, federal income tax is there was no nothing else down here that could have been deducted from box one such as like a 401k is a common example or some kind of possibly uh, other benefits like health benefits and whatnot so let's go back on over and just see the data input with that one. So if I was to do that, I'm going to say, okay, they made 150,000 in box one. And then I have to populate box two because this is going to be based on whatever they put on their W4. So I'm just going to have to put in whatever they have there. I got to do the data input. They can't help me with just a tax rate because it's a complicated tax system, a progressive system, 37.5, 37.5. And then, but notice here, I didn't populate the social security and the software basically knew what the social security cap should be. So, so, and that should be the case over here because if I made 150,000 on one job, one W2 income job, and that's my only income, then the system can see, oh yeah, well, you should have capped at the 147.5 and that then would calculate 6.2% of it, 9441. And that's where we get the 9441. And then the Medicare doesn't have a cap. So that's why it jumped back up. And the Medicare 1.45% uh, is populated for us. So if I jump back on over to the 1040, and now I've got on page one, we have the 150,000. If I mirror that on my worksheet over here, I could say, okay, page, this is gonna be 150,000. And then if I jump back to the first page, there is that same standard deduction that gets us to the 137.50. So 137.50 looks good. Page two, then 26, uh, 728. I'll let the software do the calculation for the tax. 26, 26, 738. Is, that's not right. 26, 738. Like what did you just type there? Where did you come up with that? You didn't even, that wasn't even 26728. For goodness gracious. I don't trust you to type in, okay, I got it, all right? I just double checked. That's why I double check it over here. Okay, any case, then 
we had the withholding 37.5. 37.5, so we'll put that in the payments 37.5 and pull that on up to page one. So that comes out to the 10.772. 10772 just to do a quick kind of recap i'm just kind of just trying to summarize this on both sides so we can kind of see it in a formula format and so uh, so again you see that you see that difference on the data input and then 